two brothers are under arrest. Police say they use the obituaries to pick out elderly victims and scam them. A warning from police tonight after they say two men conned an elderly woman out of almost $50,000. They posed as contractors and convinced the woman her property needed repairs or she would be sued. We have all you need to know about how to hire a licensed contractor who won't rip you off. News 8's Bob Wilson has more live from Hartford. Bob? Yeah, this is a story about a victim who lost $50,000 because these two brothers allegedly went in, took the money up front, tore her house up trying to put make improvements, and they really just tore it apart. There's a second part to the story. Police today, not only did they arrest them, but they went and gathered the community around this woman and helped her put her house back together. Police have arrested two brothers from Hebron, Wesley and David Zeno, for ripping off a recently widowed elderly woman for $50,000. Police say the pair started work on her house and never finished the job, leaving the roof open during the entire winter. When we started the investigation in March, the roof was still bare, covered with the tarp, and there had been some water damage inside the home. Uh, there also is an allegation that while they had access to the home, uh, they went inside the house and uh, stole jewelry that was then pawned. The jewelry was worth more than $6,000. So with no family, the detectives investigating the case, Charles Hicking, stepped in to help out. He called in reputable contractors to lend a hand including Rob Sandville from SRM Roofing. Even the first time when I went there to measure the roof, uh, there were guys there that were measuring for carpets and floors. There were guys there to look at the painting. So he really uh, was doing a lot of work, a lot of, and it was all, you know, after hours. Investigators say the two brothers showed up on this doorstep shortly after the woman became a widow and her husband's obituary showed up in the paper. They said, look at the cracks in your driveway, in your sidewalk. The post office is going to sue you if you don't fix it. And from there, they went on to do the roof and other projects in the house and not complete them, according to police. So how do you find a good, reliable contractor who's not going to try and rip you off? Anyone can buy an advertisement. Check references to, to make sure you're dealing with a reputable contractor. So the Better Business Bureau really is a good source. You should also get several quotes to make sure that you're getting a good price. Try and find a contractor that you know you can trust because you've seen their work or you know their work. And a warning from police tonight. So this is a continuing investigation and some of the information we have developed uh, suggests there may be additional victims uh, and that's why we're reaching out to the public. So you want to make sure if you have run across these guys, please contact police. They want to know about it. And if you want more tips on how to find a good contractor, go to WTNH.com. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford News 8.